uh, at the Basin Park Hotel. Uh, the uh, guest rooms 506 and 508, uh, and we're doing a rehabilitation of these rooms and creating a two-bedroom parlor suite. Uh, so I'll take you inside. This will actually be the king room to the suite, and what we're doing primarily in this area is rehabilitating the uh, bathroom area, uh, bringing it up to be fresh uh, in its concept and design. Of course, we're adding larger televisions, uh, and then we're creating a parlor suite that will connect to this room that's right through this area. What's really great with this hotel or its partner hotel, The Crescent, is as you come in, you can see the construction and the bones of this uh, uh, property. So what I show you here are really interesting components. This is the lab and plaster uh, of the room. These really hardwood beams. Most of this lumber would have come out of the Hobbs uh, State Park area. But you can also see some of the old electric. You can see some knob and tube that used to be uh, imparted. And some of these big cast pipes that are still in place. The cast pipes are still used for drainage of the building or root vents. And that then brings you into the parlor the parlor of this uh, two-room connecting suite. So that's a king room on that side. Then we'll have a queen room with a large bathroom. One of the neat pieces of this room is you can actually see the old hotel dumbwaiter. So if you look uh, in this area, you can see that the dumbwaiter used to deliver food to these rooms, and it would go from the kitchen all the way up to what is uh, the roof garden. Breakfast was served on the roof garden every day when this property opened and we're bringing the roof garden back uh, into uh, um, operation this year. As you go through, this is the gathering parlor for both, uh, both rooms. And then you go into the king uh, room. Of course, these overlook the courtyard. A lot of people don't know the Basin Park is actually a horseshoe. Uh, so it's... Uh, uh, eight stories on one side, seven stories on the other, and it's a U-shaped uh, building that has this massive bluff in the back. And that brings us to the refurbishment of the, of the bathroom area. Uh, we uh, have a, a beautiful standalone tub. Uh, it'll have a, a, a great walk-in uh, shower. Uh, that shower will have two heads with a raindrop shower and, uh, and then this whole area will be brought back to, to fresh and clean and uh, a design that's consistent with turn of the century, sort of William Morris earth tones, uh, but also um, you know, sort of like a restoration hardware feel. We talked a little bit about the lab and plaster in the other room and you can see that here, but also unique to this particular room this is the former staircase for the hotel. There was a rear staircase in the Basin Park Hotel, and you can see that grading down in this way. Here's a chimney to the exterior, and then it's sort of odd, but if you look through, you can see a window, which is actually half on this floor and half on the other floor. Unfortunately, it can't incorporate it into the new design, but it's fun to uh, uh, be a history buff and enjoy what was uh, the case. You can still see this type of staircase if you take the Spirits uh, tour here, uh, the Ghost Adventure. Uh, we take you up one of the old stairwells that still goes from the ballroom level up to the roof. And this uh, type of woodwork that uh, is still in place and the old stairway is still there. So now I would like to introduce you to one of the newest and most exciting components. We're going to bring uh, the former night manager of the property back in the uh, days of liquor by the drink and gambling at the hotel. This is an exciting new concept for us. I mentioned bringing back the name Jack Rabbit to our community. And this is what we plan to do. This is called Jack Rabbit's Whiskey Bar. Come on inside. Now we're on the same level as the balcony restaurant, but every hotel that's a great hotel has a great hotel bar. And we thought that no better era was to capture than the era of Joe Parkhill from 1944 to 1955. This was a rocking place. You know, a lot of people uh, that were on leave from the military uh, 
uh, areas were brought to Eureka Springs. It was a resurgence of, of fun, and really it was the fun era invented in Eureka Springs. Joe Parkhill was the leader of that, but his night manager was Jack Rabbit, and Jack Rabbit was on duty the night that the barefoot ball was busted by Sheriff Irwin DeWeese, or DeWeasel, uh, and Jack Rabbit was hauled off to jail with Joe Parkhill, John Doe, who we still don't know who that is, and Jack Rabbit. So we're happy to be able to share that Jack Rabbit was a big part of Eureka Springs, and here's what we have. We brought the uh, tables down from Lucky 7. We're designed decor similar to the hotel, Earth Tones, William Morris pattern. You can see we brought these dynamic cases that were uh, resembling uh, the original construction of the Basin Park, the beams in the lobby, and we've been able to bring these beams throughout the hotel to signify the design period that was turn of the century. This hotel being built in 1905. One of the real significant components is the original hotel front desk is now the bar here. This is uh, quite an accomplishment to bring this uh, piece of furniture. It's had a few different lives, uh, including being tucked away in storage, never to be used again, to make it up to the Lucky 7 bar and to be brought back downstairs here to recreate a bar that was fashioned by Joe Parkhill originally. This was the old Ozark room. Every Wednesday night there was a dance in the Ozark room, and every Saturday night there was a big uh, hoot nanny up, upstairs in the Grand Ballroom. So here we are Wednesdays. This was the Ozark Room. This was Joe Parkhill's bar, staffed occasionally by the night manager, Jack Rabbit, and we brought it back this year to open Super Bowl weekend. So you can see it's all turn of the, uh, turn of the century design, William Morris pattern. Uh, we have a couple of Larry Mansker paintings. Uh, Larry's paintings represent Lake Leatherwood and the Ozarks. Um, but you also see how we blended together maybe a 85 inch television or two 65 inch televisions. Where is there a good place to watch a sports game and just be uh, uh, relaxed and watch the Chiefs win the Super Bowl? I, I can't think of a better place than right here. So this is Jack Rabbit's Whiskey Bar. The other piece that's sort of neat to this is we will be serving George Dickel uh, whiskey. Uh, we will be private labeling uh, George uh, Dickel 12 year uh, for Jack Rabbits. Uh, there's a local connection to George Dickel, uh, and of course, it uh, 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 comes to us from, from nearby Tennessee. So, the one little surprise that I have, and it's not quite built yet, but we're getting close is every good uh, rabbit's den has a, has a rabbit hole. Uh, so we're going to see if we can have a rabbit hole here. In this corner up to the right, it looks just like a wall. But what most folks that frequent here will soon see is the rabbit hole actually will go down into our cave and will host our wine cellar and our private reserve of whiskey. I'm going to show you that next. Well, here you are. We're actually a full story or a story and a half, depending on what side of the hotel you're on, uh, below where I last left you in Jack Rabbits. And now I'm going to show you the rabbit hole. So come on this way, and you're going to see a neat part. This is oftentimes referred to as the cave. You may have heard in the past that the Basin Park was built right into the side of the of the mountain and that every floor was a ground floor because you could access off each floor on a staircase into the back. Well this is the actual mountain and you can see we've had some rain recently so you can see the limestone, limestone bluff is dripping with moisture but here we are in the back of the hotel. Hotel on one side, limestone bluff on the other and I can touch them both. Uh, and what this will soon be can see we've already started our liquor collection uh, from our ghost adventure. We, we bring people back here to see this really unique space. But for Jack Rabbits, we're planning on bringing you down into the rabbit hole and evolving this space to hold the Rennick wine collection and the private reserve of George Dickel whiskey. 
Uh, so you'll be able to go from the rabbit hole down into the wine cellar to pick out your bottle of wine and also be exposed to this incredible space. And it's hard to believe, but this is the rabbit hole. And this is how you get there. Oh boy. <laughs>